Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel and for another segment of why are you telling my business? Hell, somebody got to. So why don't it be me? Alright? <laughs> okay guys, I'm telling you the hits just keep on coming. I thought I could not get any worse with talking about Portia Williams child. But... The stupidity just keeps overflowing. Woo, child. I was on Bravo's little section where they tell you about previews that are coming up for the next aired uh, scene or episode. And child, they got Portia in the kitchen smoking up everything, burning up everything. And her mama is sitting in there like a bump on a log. Like she don't lost her mind like she's an airhead and not telling her daughter or showing her daughter how to cook which makes me think the apple don't fall too from too far from the tree she invested more in her beauty than her actual talents and being a whiz in the kitchen okay because it's a hot mess and when simon came through the door which you could tell that was a fake stage scene as well he was asking Portia what was she cooking and evidently it wasn't smelling good in there because he ain't say "Ooh, it smell good in here what my plate he asked what was she doing and what was she preparing and he couldn't even recognize it and when I looked over there when they gave us a scene that child was burning a plantain okay now Portia is not in nobody's commercial kitchen what the hell she got on glues for Somebody please tell me. Why does she have on gloves? Now I know they have cooking gloves out there. I'm asking the same question too. Cat, why the hell she got on gloves? <laughs> I'm like, girl, you are not a chef. You're not pairing, preparing food back in your kitchen where you're filling plates for millions, if not hundreds, of individuals. That's something you do, Portia when you're passing out food and you don't want to be like not hygienic about it or like I said you're a chef you're preparing different meats and you don't want to like cross contaminate I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm so ready to give up on Porsche okay I'm like two shits to be tied before really going off on how stupid she gonna continue to be when it comes to making this dollar, this paper, this dinero, okay, these coins. I have never in my wildest dreams went into a friend's kitchen or a family member's kitchen and they got glue so on. Okay. Now I could see if they were using it and it seemed like they burnt that. that, that I don't want that. That looked too crispy. Do crispy crispy now i like my meat well well done but i don't want it burnt on the outside why i have to scrape the the uh burntness off of it but like i said when you are a master chef and you're in there preparing different meats and you know the temperature is certain things and those are really barbecue gloves you know or hold the grease down but like i said this is a chef kitchen we talking about preparing for hundreds or millions of customers that come through the door every day. Portia is in her tranquility home. A sanctuary. Wash your hands baby. That's all you got to do. Or cut them fake fingernails. So they don't be so long. And you don't have a sense of cross contamination. If that's what you're worried about. Which I don't think you're worried about that. I think you just didn't want to mess up your pretty hands. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. But Portia. Only time we wear gloves like that in the south, uh, baby, it's probably when we washing dishes. I mean, did you talk to the hot dog king? Did you did you run it past him or his mama on what is proper etiquette when you're at home feeding your family and feeding yourself? I mean, girl, that's how you get down when you making food for yourself. You harness yourself those latex gloves. And to me, them gloves need to be left for people drawing blood, baby. Or touching people's skin. You know, like doing calluses removal. Or when you go to the nail shop and you get your pedicure done and they got to protect themselves and stuff of that nature. 
And see, those are the ones that I usually wear when I am passing food around, you know, for the holidays. You know, I might grab a little something because, you know, people that don't know you and they come to your house and want to eat, you want to be very hygienic for them until they get to know you and they're like okay she clean, she clean by some you know i don't care if she you know touch it with her hand i saw her wash her hands with some um anti beer anti we call it anti bacteria soap yeah print she gave me a headache i need to have some tylenol pills on my screen so when y'all know i got the tylenol pill bottle out <laughs> somebody finna give me a headache even Whitney Houston was in her kitchen. And she ain't had no damn gloves on. Riri didn't have no gloves on when she was doing something in her kitchen. I think it was a Christmas special I was watching. Her and Patty LaBelle. They ain't had no gloves on. People in the South don't cook with gloves on. Okay? We get in there. We got the taste. We got the sample. We got to lick our fingers. You know what I'm saying? Or how we put stuff together. Did you see Claire, Claire Hustle when she was playing Claire? On the uh, Cosby show. Did you see her wearing any gloves? Or did you see her properly wash her hands and had her towel? And they went in with preparing the meal. Child, Portia just do something every freaking day. That gets on my little nerves. Because I be wanting to root for Portia. I even be telling y'all to pray for her. Okay? Don't pray for a downfall. Pray for her upkeep and her discernment. I mean, she deserves it. Just like she don't have nobody on her team. And nobody in her family saying, baby, don't don't, don't let that go, go out on tape. You know, that, that don't look right. You know what I'm saying? We, we don't do that. You know, don't, 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 you know, something. Diane is giving me poor parenting all the way right on. Poor parenting. Whew. Because you can't get too much on the child that's making all these infringements. Even though she should know better. But I guess she wasn't taught better. I guess Diane just showed her how to continue to look good aesthetically on the outside. And you could be the worst person, you know, that walked this face of the earth on the inside. Just as long as you get what you want. Because I was like, then <laughs> Sam was just looking like, I, I don't know if I really want to eat this. That's a facial expression. SG was giving me. You see what I'm saying? Like he was scared to eat stuff too. And then instead of Portia mom Diane opening up her mouth telling her, baby, you cooking that too long or baby, take out them damn gloves. Cause, Girl, wash your hands and take out them gloves, okay? Stop front for the cameras because you know we don't get down like that in real life. And if anybody seen Portia when she was doing her comings and goings and all her past Real Housewives of Atlanta um, pics in her kitchen, Portia ain't never had on no gloves. Ain't never had on no gloves. But now, she want us to be lifted up with everything she do. When we couldn't even find a good decent bra to hold up Riri's tits. And she didn't really want to have them anyway. She was being rebellious back in the day too. Okay? We couldn't handle that. So I guess Portia's saying, we ain't going to be able to handle her. But like Riri said, you better think. You better think. You better think, girl, what you're trying to do to yourself and your family. You better think, think what's going to happen to Miss PJ. Because she don't deserve all this foolishness that you're giving us today. Girl, she not. Even Prince. I know he must be rolling over in his grave. Because Miss Portia got on some gloves where she beating up some eggs, it looks like, to put in the frying pan. And she done made a mess over there. This is like a hot mess. Like, okay, let's just throw this together. And I just got a manicure. Or I just got my nails done so I can't mess them up with all this popping grease. Can you give me some gloves, please? Like, can you sit your ass down, Portia? And give us something to really look at of substance. Because all these fake scenes, you're making our eyes go up. Our eyebrows arching. You're giving us a spasm in our head. But we foolish. I'm going to call myself a fool too. Because I'm sitting up here partaking of your foolishness. Okay. I just hate to see. Especially my kind. Chase that dollar. And it makes them seem in a very distraught way. Okay. Not upstanding. Not morally. Nothing ethical. And I mean you could have went to your auntie Liz. 
And she went over there with no uh, gloves on in her house all trying to cook. She probably had to toe that line when she was messing with the millions that come down there to her uh, feed the hungry organization. You know, she has to be kosher then because she has to be her little chef. She got to wear her little chef hat and watch um, for, uh, what do you call it, food control. Uh, not it may not be food control, but food contamination control. So that's why they wear the gloves. But you got to change the gloves after every touch of different meats too. So I'm like, girl, and Daniel looks so wicked too in that picture, don't she? She's wicked. I'm just I'm not feeling her because I, I don't understand why she can't check her daughter with this taping. I mean, you let your own daughter for the price of fame and money make her look like she's stupid. And she's going around here like a sex object kitten. For anybody to just touch on, feel on, and get they, you know, I guess their uh, thrills off of her. And then behind closed doors. We can't imagine what she's probably doing for that coin. I'm like, she was broken then, in the past, and she's broken now. And nobody in her family, not even her mama that birthed her, care enough for her. To say, baby, we need to do something different. You know, I thought this show was going to show Portia in a better light, more mature light. But she just keep doing fucked up shit. She really do. We got to call a spade a spade. She keep doing dumb crap. And her mama keeps allowing it. And she keeps filming and enabling her to keep looking stupid. I'm like, well, y'all try to be sisters or something? That you feel like you can't check your daughter? Here and there? Behind scenes? On, on, on camera? Oh, it's so disgusting. So demeaning. So degrading. And what did you laugh at? Okay, because most people that are not really trying to help a situation... They laugh behind your back. They may smile in your face, be your road dog while they're being seen with you everywhere you can possibly take them into because they couldn't get in it by themselves. I'm talking about your entourage and even your mama being a part of that entourage. They're your enablers. They will have you out here looking all kinds of crazy stupid. And if you get a chance to look at it prior to us, Producers did not do a good job favoring you. You was almost like the traditional dumb Barbie blonde self for you a brunette. <laughs> Up here looking like she can't do nothing right. Somebody always had to swoop in and save her. She's the poor Porsche, poor this, poor that. But don't want to take accountability for any of those actions that you're mentioning in your book. That I hear is off the chain. And it's just favoring more stupidity. And gullibleness. And naiveness. Come on Portia. I want to root for you. I want to see you do better. But you know better. I know you know somebody out there. But then again. You may totally have your whole team. Enabling your habits. Instead of setting you straight. Saying no baby. You you might be garnering a lot of followers or a lot of whatever, but your actions on this show is not one that would be judged as favorable. Okay, what brands would want good brands? I ain't talking about any brand. Good brands that want to have you be one of their investors on their team to sell their products. Who, Porsche? Because Fab. Shoes wasn't it. You know it was a stepping stone. For something greater and bigger. But you think L'Oreal. Gonna uh, somewhat have you be a spokesperson to them. You think Neiman Marcus. Gonna have you be a spokesperson. For their products. And their accessories. Tell me baby. Can SG. Get you on. One of the. Nigerian platforms. Where. Their luxury goods are being sold. Do you think they want to have you as a spokesperson? Tell me, girl. Any Fortune 500 company. Do you think they want to have you as a spokesperson? Selling their stuff? With how you're reacting 
and delegating your talents to be in something like well i won't say the show itself because each housewives franchise is different and they pay them different and they give them perks different only thing they show them, like i said porsche i hope you got goodly paid royally paid on time paid not at the back though or if he was a smart negotiator you can get him on both ends okay but i'm pretty sure you weren't that good of a, a negotiator and it don't seem like your team is doing that good because i'm tired i'm i would not want to have a show where they're not showing me in a respectable way I mean, I got to have some points where I come out and say this, that, and the third. And people can take some good thoughts of what I said and apply it to them, their life. You know what I'm saying? Some good lessons. Learn lessons from me experiencing X, Y, Z. You see what I'm saying? But this is just a, a, a real bad sitcom show that went wrong. It's almost like this is what you don't want to do. So you can be successful on another show. These are the pitfalls that you want to stay away from. And your show portion is showing that on what not to do. On what not or how not to behave. Okay. I'm just saying. Because I don't watch two episodes of your first season. And they totally has obliterated you. They have knocked you out of earth, put you in space, and it's nothing positive that is being shown. I mean, if I was a teenager and I was your daughter, I would be so ashamed that they're making my mom look like a hoe. They're making her be out there trying to be the argumentative one, the fighter, the ones that want to put hands on people. And they're making her seem like she is a total douchebag for allegedly stealing somebody else's husband while they were still legally married and they got you looking like you just hopping from one man to the next man one man to the next man and it's like an amount of months not years months okay it's crazy Porsche it's crazy but I thought it couldn't get no worse than your personal life being destroyed literally here on TV. But you coming with showing us you don't know nothing about cooking. You don't know your way around the kitchen. You cooking foods and stacking up the stuff that it came in. You know that's unsanitary either. Why are you trying to be sanitary up in that kitchen with them gloves? What about the trash you got sitting to the side? That raw meat come out of those other packages that needed to have been discarded and your counter wiped down so you don't have that salmonella type of poisoning going on because the meat and the juice ran too close to maybe some other items you were cooking you see what i'm saying Portia? it don't make sense make it make sense baby but like i said i gotta get on your mama i hold her truly responsible because it's not like she's not on set with you it's not like she don't see the comings and goings how a scene could be seen and depicted another way an unflattering light okay how portia say the optics look bad yes they look horrendous baby they look horrendous hideous to be more exact just like that picture of riri breasts hanging that low it's a hideous sight. But Lord lift us up where we belong. Because Riri we just wanted to be a sex toy kitten. Uh, 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 I don't know what she was trying to prove with them breasts hanging down low. And it wasn't that dress. It wasn't only that dress. It was several dresses. But you know, Riri got to that certain age. You know, and I'm, I'm pretty sure she had went through some health issues. So I'm going to give her a pass all day long. I'm going to give her a pass all day long. Okay. Because she's up. She's my senior. And I, it, though it ain't right. She had just a few more years. Okay. A few more years. Because she had more years behind her. Than what she had in front of her. And I think we were about seven some years old. 
and she felt like she still wanted to spark because she thought her breast was something to be shown at that level at that long length of a, a lower level then pr praise god let her be do her but this woman over here we call portia williams okay i don't know what's going on i don't know what's going on because that's a hot mess but after all of that because I, I i just couldn't get past that y'all homie gonna come up there with some black gloves on like she's serving up something i've never but a piece to that you know the whole thing was saying a breakfast with portia williams comes aside of surprising news well she's stuttering and you know when most people don't have that um what do you call it that characteristic that's embedded in their speech <coughs> you know we give them a break because that's a speech impediment is what i'm trying to say the stuttering but when you stutter because you finna lie and you know it's finna come out your mouth not exactly probably how you want it to come out and you, that's what stuttering that's what lying do to you and portia knew she knew but her mama had to tell her why don't you tell sam like see there we go Old heads always up in the business. I'm like, don't your mama have something else to give us on this show? Just sitting up there saying some stuff we don't care not to hear about. We care to hear about her checking you, Portia, when you wrong. Because when you out here looking like a fool, your mama should be embarrassed herself. Because I know if my daughter was like, acting like a fool and I was taping with her. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Because me and my daughter did several uh, YouTube um uh, videos and some just didn't make it because i had to like cut the camera off because if the energy is wrong girl i'm gonna embarrass you on live and i did you know we had gotten to a little some spats and stuff of this nature but i'm like i i go hard for mine because i don't want nobody to take advantage of you so if i sit there and tell you this mess is messed up Trust me, it's messed up. You keep going down it, I'm going to get louder. You keep pressing me, I'm going to cut the camera off. And I'm going to walk away. Because you can sit there and make a fool out yourself all day long. But I won't. I cancel. I shut shit down. And my daughter knows that. I've done it before. Because I'm not going to let her make a fool out of herself. And I'm not going to be made a fool out of myself. Okay? I can make a fool out of myself and laugh at myself because I want to. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't finna do it on a platform where millions of people, <laughs> millions of people see it. And I'm just acting a total ass out there. And I'm just saying ridiculous stuff. And it's just crazy. You know, I'm not, that's not what I signed up for. That's not what I'm going to do. That's not what I want my legacy to be about. And then with her being a part of a wonderful contribution to our society as a black race you're gonna sit up there and act real crazy for them to tell you apart about why you acting this way why you making your money this way when you have a legacy to look back on and it's still going ahead because people are still remembering the dream they're remembering the sacrifices the heartache that your grandfather went through for our race of people and people of lower income status. Girl, you should be ashamed of yourself. And your mama and you both should be with the correct yes. Yes, okay? I'm just keeping it real because it makes me mad. When I see people who have potential and they use their platform for wretchedness. And the biggest platform that you are on, you don't see them making a fool out of Kenya. Kenya ain't finna do that. She shut shit down. She, she's just not going to tolerate it. You're not going to make her look a certain way. If she has a certain problem with a certain person, she get them together. If she has a certain problem with a producer, she asks them to let's do this behind scenes. Okay? Let's get this politically correct behind the scenes. Or if you're not going to respect me, I'm going to close the door. And we're going to move on. And she really did that on one episode. They tried to follow her in the bathroom when she got too fit to be tired about a certain scene. And how it was developing, evolving. She shut it down. She said, uh-uh, we ain't finna do this. We're not going down this road. Because she has a brand to protect. She don't want her daughter to look at her in a certain light. Of this is how she makes her money. It's an, and it would be an embarrassment to her as she continued to grow. And have to be brought up around 
people that know how her mama act, what her mama did. It, it just costs too much. I mean, whatever you do now will affect your daughter later, will affect you later. So you have to be always conscious of that. But like I said, moving on from this situation, she was trying to stutter, trying to tell uh, um, SG why, you know, she was preparing this meal. Because she had a surprise for him, honey. She threw Lauren on the bus saying, well, it's Lauren's idea. Lauren think you need to come on our women's retreat and, 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 and get your energy together. And it will give you more bonding time with the family. And like, do you think SG want to really be bothered with your family? He don't. He don't want to be bothered with no old women that he's not attracted to. And he's not attracted to anybody older than him or the same age. He like the young flocks out there. He like to be around the young women. All right. He's a cradle robber too. All right. So I was like, okay. And then she said, well, yeah, and uh, Dennis, um, Lauren invited Dennis too. So if y'all go over to Bravo, okay, and it's going to give you a preview of the upcoming scenes that should be available for our viewing on this Sunday coming. So, yeah, that's, well, it was a hot mess, y'all. It was a hot mess, but when I saw them gloves, and I saw her in her, in her own personal kitchen. I mean, this ain't no commercial kitchen. This ain't no restaurant. This is your home, babe. This is your home. Why are you acting a fool on camera up in your home with some gloves on? Now, I can see if you were washing dishes, that would be another whole thing. Because people don't want to get their hands soaked and mess with their manicure. I know at the heat temperature and all that, that you have to put your hands in. And, you know, just the moisture and you're drying out your skin. I understand that. Do what you got to do. Wear them big old rubber gloves if you must, okay? But when you mess with my food and some of that powder or something can come off those gloves real easily and get into my bloodstream, girl, don't make me go septic. Don't let me have poison in my blood. You trying to kill somebody, boy? Are you trying to kill somebody? And I know you ain't trying to do it on purpose. <laughs> you, you just thinking you had something politically correct and you were showing people how hygienic or how high hyperallergenic you were with putting on the gloves girl like i said and that's my favorite expression to deal with you on this particular video go sit yourself down portia go sit yourself down till you can politically correctly morally get it together okay because right now we're looking at you from all different angles and we're still getting a headache on how dumb you decide to let these people portray you because I, I just refuse to believe you are that dumb. I refuse to believe it. You come from good stock. You come from innovators. You come from entrepreneurs. You come from advocates. All of this is in your bloodstream. It's in your heritage. But yet, you decide that you didn't want to harness any of that until it fits you. Until it fits your mode of what you're trying to do for the cameras. Okay, of course, you got a long way to go, and you still broken, baby. You still <laughs> broken, so you need to get your team, no, scratch that. You need to get a whole new team, because they're not doing you well. Because even if you want to make money, you make a decent living, uh, you know, surrounding yourself in this mess. One day, you're going you're gonna to get old, and the entertainment business is still going to throw you out there. Look how they do I, I Ron Isley. He know he need to be sitting his butt down somewhere. Don't sound the same. But, hey, he was so good. I buy all his tapes. I got some of them anyway. And I can rock. I can rock with it. But I don't want to see Ron up there. Even though I think that's a clone they got running around him. A Ron Isley. Because his, his skin is too slick. Too smooth. And he look younger. Okay, and ain't nobody going to tell him all oh, that's makeup. I mean, not makeup. That's his good genes. Or he don't find the fountain of youth. Or, no, baby. That's not, I mean, I know black don't crack. But black don't look that good either. Okay? Look at Ron Osley again, people. That's all I'm saying. Look at Ron Osley again. <sighs> but that's all I got, y'all, for this video. I was just, like I said, I was just too fit to be tired when I saw Portia with them gloves on. <laughs> Woo, the hits just keep on coming. 
hits just keep on coming for the negative for this girl. For this young woman, Lord have mercy. Well, she ain't a young woman. She's 40. So she's right in the middle age where she should have some business about herself and some common sense to not do certain things for that dollar. Okay? Don't let the dollar make you. You make the dollar is what I'm trying to say. But that's all I got for this video. Hopefully y'all will enjoy it. And come back for another segment of why you telling my business, girl. Well, somebody got to do it. Why not me? <laughs> okay. And many blessings to you all. And I'll see y'all next video.